Hi, I'm Anna Marie Tindler. There are three things that I love in this world. Makeup, the paranormal, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Four if you count my husband. Join me as I take you on a journey to the other side. I'm here with Diana, and today we are going to do the perfect cat eye. Diana, how do you feel about a cat eye? I feel like you are going to do the perfect cat eye, and I am going to do my best. For this, you need a small angled brush and a pot of gel eyeliner. We're gonna start with a brush and gel, and a lot of people are intimidated, but it's very easy. So we're gonna start by getting the gel on the brush. This is amazing technique. It's like watching Cezanne start oh, something. Thank you. And I like to start in the middle and work my way out and then go back and do the inner corner of the eye. Use small, short strokes. Don't feel like you have to do it all in one single swoop. I always felt like you kind of had to be like Nike, like just do it, why no, is it short? Definitely not, that's way harder. Then you go back and you start with the wing by turning your brush in the other direction and using the point of the brush as the point of the wing. How do you know like how far out to extend it? You can go as far as you want. I'm gonna give this to you. Okay. And you're gonna tackle the other side. I believe in us. So the first thing is I'm seeing that you're going up to your eye with your brush down. Uh -huh. And what you wanna do is actually put it on this way. Oh. Because then the point oh. goes into the point between your eyelid and your eyelash and it's much easier. Yes. Mom, I'm doing it. You're really doing it. Have you ever had an experience with the paranormal? I have actually. Okay, here we go. Um, so my dad and I had this crazy connection where sometimes he would experience things and I would be able to experience it at the same time. Like even Ooh. if we weren't anywhere near each other. And when I was in high school, I was in biology class one day and I remember I was taking a test and my dad had had to go to the doctor that day, but he didn't want to worry me. Because and so, I was in class and all of a sudden I could smell medical alcohol. Everybody was taking tests, so it wasn't like anybody was doing any experiments. And all of a sudden I felt my arm, like this pain in my arm, like right in the crick of my arm. Mm -hmm. And then later I came home and there was like a small welt that was right there. And my dad had a Band-Aid on his <laughs> arm, on the same arm. I was like, what, what happened to you? And he was like, oh, I went to the doctor and I got blood drawn. And I was like, Whoa. what time were you at the doctor? And he was like, I don't know, like 120 was when I was getting my blood drawn. And that's when I was in biology ah, class. That's, that's so crazy. nice. You even smelled the alcohol that they used to clean the area before they drew the blood. I know, and it's insane. I mean, I'm, I'm just lucky as a teenage girl that it only seemed to go one way because otherwise I would have been in trouble all the time. Like, can you imagine yeah. being a teenage girl whose dad knows like what you're doing? Like, oh, uh, <laughs> that would be awful. It was nuts. It That's was nuts some real out. medium stuff. Yeah. Oh, I should start charging people for this. Let's see, turn towards me. Mm -hmm. This is looking really good. I think you actually kind of have it. The only thing I would do now is just clean up the actual point of it. Ooh. Take the point, mm -hmm. right? and right there, and you're just going to drag that way. Okay. Yeah, perfect. All right, there you go. Doing it. Oh, that looks great. Oh, yeah. that's so much better than it normally is, <laughs> yay. So do you feel like with this eyeliner, you could say, I don't know, go on a date with Leonardo DiCaprio? Absolutely. Would I mean, you want to go on a date with Leonardo DiCaprio? I can't, I can't take him from you. He's meant to be with you. I really, I have to say that's really moving and I appreciate it. Mm, I appreciate you. Today, Deanna learned how to do a perfect cat eye and also showed some real friendship by giving up Leo so that I could have him. Hey Smart Girls, thanks for watching. If there are makeup questions you have and you'd like to see me tackle them on the show, please tweet at me also click here to subscribe. But if you're Leonardo DiCaprio, please call me on my direct line, which is 20 Call me, please. It's serious.